Today we're going to look at some photographs from the Southern Counties Heavy Horse Association planning match um, in the autumn of I think 1980. Um, I didn't realise uh, until now that I got some pictures of Her Majesty the Queen who was visiting the same day as I did. I was staying close by and heard about this particular event so took my camera and decided to go and see if I can take some photographs and enjoy the day out. So first of all we begin with two pictures of Her Majesty who was going around looking at the competitors. Um, no doubt something, some of the fun had already started but um, she is having a look at everybody that's there and I'm sure everybody is very pleased to see her. Now we're going to look at photos of competitors now and I'll try and explain to you a bit about the different breeds and something because I don't know anything about who they are or what they are. Obviously these are shy horses, uh, England's most popular breed of heavy horse, long hairy legs, uh, normally bay, <laughs> grey or black. These I like tails, I like these long tails on that one. There's a pair here ploughing together. Again, look at those long hairy legs. Working together well, and here's some tails. Uh, well, nicely decorated. I'm not sure they're plaited or, or whatever, but they look nice anyway. Um, here's a pair of black shy horses, some nice decorations. It looks like they're taking a breather at the end of a row. What have we got next? Ah, some bay shies here. I like the decorations. They really f took my fancy here. Beautiful harness, as we'll see in a moment. But they're working well together. Look at this beautiful old bridle with the brasses on it. And those earmuffs, I bet the horse is pleased with those when the dust's flying around. But they're very attractive too. Now we've got a pair of grey shies. I believe these are the property of the late Carl Boyd, who founded this particular association. Beautiful grey shires working together. Look at those legs. Suffolk's here. Um, Suffolk's very different. Uh, England's oldest breed of heavy horse. Shorter legs, no fur, smaller feet, very sturdy. It's like a barrel with a leg at each corner, hence the Suffolk punch. Always uh, chestnut in colour, spelt without the middle T. Obviously they come from Suffolk. Very rare today. Beautiful pair working together. And here's a turnout. Obviously there's some turnouts there on this particular day. A four-wheel wagon here with one shy horse. Um, a different kind of wagon here. Looks like it's wooden wheeled. Uh, certainly a different design. Um, and here's a two-wheel tip cart uh, with some gormers. So you can put a load over the back of the horse as well. Ah, oh, now these are like because of the tails. Uh, long tails here, nicely decorated. They look as if they're a pair of horses. Perhaps not purebred shires, but they're working well together. And they look very attractive. I do like to see long tails. Now we've got a four-wheel wagon here with a pair of horses. Uh, wooden wooden uh, wheeled wagon. Quite an attractive turnout. And then what have we got? Ah, two more shires here. I took these because of the decorations, I think. They're very attractive. Uh, I like the feathers and lots and lots of brasses. Long hairy legs again, as you can see. Here's a nice shy horse, a lovely coloured horse with a, a rubber tyred tip cart. Nice brasses. Smart turnout. And here's some boys from a local school. I didn't get their name or where it was, but they look like they're enjoying themselves. And they also look as if they know what they're doing. Here's that attractive horse again with the rubber tyred tip cart and the four wheel wagon, uh, wooden wheel wagon there, very smart, with a pair of shires. Here's those horses of Carl Boyd's again. I cut this picture down to show you them again. They're lovely greys, long hairy legs, very, very attractive. And I took this picture because of the earmuffs. Um, a nice pair of horses, but they've got beautiful blue earmuffs look. I like that. And there's the Suffolk's again look. Look at the difference in the legs. No hair, smaller feet, easy to look after on muddy, clarty ground. Nothing to wash at the end of the day. Well, not much anyway. Now, traditional wagon here, look. Painted in probably local colours. Very old. And Wadsworth had devises with a um, three-horse turnout. Wadsworth, one of the only breweries still using horses at the brewery for local deliveries. And this is Young & Co's number one wagon. I do know about this one because I've, I've driven this wagon. Uh, in Wandsworth, 
um, from South London. Uh, Youngs, unfortunately, don't have horses anymore after John Young died. A great loss to the shy horse community. But um, this is a beautiful wagon here, wooden wheels, and it's got the ram emblems painted on the sides. And you'll notice the ram is also having a ride in the back. It's a South Down ram. It's local to the area where the, the play match is taking place. South Downs, south of London, um, south east of England. And that's a lovely turnout. The kids are obviously enjoying themselves there. Um, and now that's the end of our pictures. So I hope you enjoyed looking at them. You can follow Cracker Books publications on the new website. There are over 100 videos to watch. All kinds of subjects, lots of heavy horses, over 200 audio stories if you like listening to stories, and there are 10 complete books, page turning books, lots of coloured pictures in them, all free to download. Uh, after the Covid started we stopped having a shop and decided people could access them free of charge on any device you like, lots, of, lots and lots of things to choose from. Have a good look. The website is itsarumlife.com. You can see the spelling there. Thanks for watching.